Hey guys, it's Tricky Nick here, and we're continuing our evolution series, and today we're looking at Morton Koopa Jr., aka the best Koopa Link. Uh, before we get started, if you guys do enjoy this video, please like and subscribe because it helps the channel out a lot. Anyways, let's get started with the video. Morton Koopa Jr. is a part of the Koopa Links. Morton stands out because of his primarily darker skin and his white head with a star painted on it. Morton is named after talk show host and singer-songwriter Morton Downey Jr. This is the reason for the Jr. at the end of his name. No explanation of the Jr. and his name was provided at the time he was introduced, though the editors of the magazine Nintendo Power claimed that when they asked Bowser why Morton Koopa was called Jr., he denied having any sons and then pelted them with the bombs until they left. Morton made his first appearance in Super Mario Bros. 3, where he, along with his siblings, attempted to take over the Mushroom World. At some point, Morton discovered that Mario was capable of accessing transformations, which meant Mario would be a challenge for Morton to defeat. Morton transformed the King of Desertland into a spider and took over. He uses the same attack pattern as Larry. Morton also uses his wand to shoot magical projectiles. Larry fought previously before Morton, barely used his wand, as what he did mainly was jump. Morton jumps also, and is a slight bit harder to defeat than Larry. Three stomps will defeat Morton. This was a really awful way to introduce Morton, unfortunately. Um, his attacks were copy and paste of Larry's, which really doesn't give Morton any personality yet. Morton appeared again in Super Mario World, and his castle is located in the second area, the Donut Plains. Morton attacks Mario by climbing the walls and ceiling of his room and dropping down. Mario needs to stomp on his head three times to defeat him. This fight was once again very similar to Roy's battle. While it once again was a copy and paste battle, it still displayed Morton's power. It is also funny to note how many times Morton's color changed in the different sprites uh, compared to the one in game and the Castrol one. Morton appears as a boss once again in New Super Mario Bros. Wii. Morton is fought in World 6 in his tower on a platform with ends on each side slightly raised up, set in a sea of lava. When Morton sees Mario, he stamps his foot and growls, then begins to fight. Morton's main method of attack is shooting pink energy blasts that can be targeted in any direction. He can also do a ground pound move similar to that of Roy Koopa or a Sledge Bro that will stun anybody who is on the ground. His pounds last for less time than Roy or a Sledge Bro. Whenever Morton is damaged, he will jump into his shell and spin to attack. This attack is faster than the other Koopalings. Fortunately, it can be easily avoided if the player jumps on the raised ground. However, skewers will come down from the above land and the two raised platforms damaging anyone that they hit. Once Morton has been stomped on three times, he will de be defeated. Finally, Morton gets his own battles. This one is really cool for it only being a tower fight. Morton's powerful ground pound combined with the spikes smashing down is really intimidating. During the entire fight, there isn't a single safe spot. Overall, this is a major improvement from his previous battles. In his castle fight, it appears it is going to be very alike to the attacks Larry used. Then Magikoopa flies in and sprinkles magic. At first, nothing looks different except the ground is slightly lowered. Then, Morton will use his immense weight to ground pound and cause the platforms on either side of him to rise up and hit the ceiling. He will jump around and repeat this tactic throughout the battle. Getting squished will defeat Mario and company in one hit. It is strongly noted that Morton never uses his magic in the castle fight, and he doesn't start spinning around as long as the pillars are up. Also, unlike his tower battle, Morton ground pounds won't stun the grounded players during the castle battle. This battle could have been much better, but there are some major problems with it. The pillars are very cool, but when they stop Morton from spinning around the room, they really just cause more problems than uh, solutions. Also, Morton doesn't shoot magical blasts. Overall, this battle has too many issues that brought it down greatly. Once again, Morton appears in New Super Mario Bros. 2, where he is fought in World 4 Castle. When Mario enters, Mar Morton stomps his foot and growls at him like he did in the previous game. In this battle, he will create spiked balls using his wand during the battle and use ground pounds to stun all the players that are on the floor. Just like his other battles with the Koopalings, the player has to jump on him to defeat him. After three stomps, Morton is defeated, leaving the key to World 5. This boss fight is really cool. Morton firing spike balls in a small room and ground pounding to stun the player so they get hit 
by them is a really cool tactic. Morton's battle in this game gives him a menacing and powerful personality, the way it should be. Morton's most recent appearance is in New Super Mario Bros. U as a boss. He is the boss of the Layer Cake Desert, much like how he was the boss of Desertland in New Super Mario or Super Mario Bros. 3. Morton is battled in Morton's Compactor Castle. Morton's boss battle involves him using a weapon instead of a magic wand. This time, it is a large hammer that is apparently filled with magic. He will once again stomp his foot at Mario when he sees him before battle. While he still shakes the ground by stomping on it, he'll use his hammer to knock giant pokey segments in the player's way. He can knock pokey segments straight at the player or knock them in high arcs. In addition, like most of the Koopalings, Morton, Morton also fought Mario in the cabin of his ship. Three stomps will have him fall off screen and be defeated. This boss battle is Morton's best. He gets his own weapon, which is very fitting to his personality. The giant hammer depicts Morton's power very well. The boss fight is the most memorable of all his fights. Morton's fights overall started out very badly, but they've gotten better and better over the years, and I can't wait to see what they do with it next. Unfortunately, this is the last time we've seen Morton Koopa in a main series game, so that's the end of this evolution video. Um, I might come back to all these guys if they return, uh, but if you guys did enjoy this video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one.